Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I'm going to sound a little bit more subdued perhaps in this video because I'm using my soft campground voice. Uh, River and I are camping in Franconia Notch. It's in New Hampshire. It's the White Mountains region. And we just got to the campground today and uh, River is sort of playing slash learning about uh, the fire and the coals using our rocket stove. Uh, this is an EnviroFit rocket stove it's, and it's what I want to talk about today. It is one of my favorite camping tools and it is in my uh, to grab pile, uh, you know, with my for my bug out plans and everything, yeah? I say, say, just use a long stick if you don't use a long stick, you will. Well, that's really warm. Yeah, uh, River's suggesting that you might want to use a long stick to make sure that you don't burn your hands when you're using it. And that's good advice because the rocket stoves get really, really hot with very little fuel. When we got here, it is everything is wet here. It's just been raining kind of every other day for the past uh, couple weeks. So everything's wet and soggy. What I brought with us for fuel was just a few uh, little pine sticks, like hemlock sticks that I grabbed from home that really weren't all that dry and a cardboard pizza box that I grabbed on the way up here. Uh, with just a few strips of the cardboard and those pine needles, I was able to get a little fire going and we collected mushy black embers and things like that from a lot of the fire rings in the campground. And just with that initial fire, we were able to cook off the, the moisture from, oh yeah, don't, don't hold it over yourself though. You don't want to burn yourself. We were able to cook the moisture out of the the wet coals and everything, and now they're completely sustaining the fire. And it's really impressive, I think, how little fuel you're able to uh, get by with when you have a rocket stove. Now this is an, an EnviroFit rocket stove. Uh, it's a model that, that I guess was made for third world countries, for people that don't have very much fuel. I was able to score one a couple years ago. Uh, they're not usually, uh, at least a couple years ago, they weren't normally uh, sold in the United States, but I was able to score one. But, you know, it's a rocket stove, and, you know, all rocket stoves are going to have those sort of similar properties. So if you've never used a rocket stove, uh, you know, for camping, check it out, try it out. It is amazing how little that you can cook your, your meal on. Right now I'm warming up some water to keep us warm tonight. Um, but you can do so much with so little uh, and in a difficult circumstance where you may not have a lot of fuel or you may not have dry fuel, a tool like that could be a lifesaver. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.